Oh, well, I'm trying to get it now. I'm trying to go to the mute and see what's going on here. One second, Rod. Right? Jimmy, I'm just going to move on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If it was on? Yeah, it's on. I mean, it's, uh, it could be on this side, can it, it be? Ain't, it ain't where it's muted. It's not muted. could be on this side. Could it be on this side? It may have on his side. It may have muted on his side. Yeah, it could be on his side. That's what I was trying to say. I think it's on his side. Right. It's on. It's right. On. It's, it's working. Yeah, you can hear him. We can hear him clear. Yeah. It has to be on his side. Right. It has to be on this side. Right. Right. Yeah, because we can hear him. Yeah, the mute ain't on our side. Right. I'm trying to say that. Yeah. You're right, Jim. Yeah. You're right. I'm trying to say that. Because he probably don't know. Right. He don't know that he, he, he's on mute. It's like he's calling back. He's on mute. His mute was on. Hello? I think your mute was on. Yeah, right. he, he's throwing thumbs up. He, he can hear. Okay, he can hear. you're good. He can hear. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was saying that. Yeah, you're right. Saying, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to St. John 423. Okay. St. John 423. St. John 423. St. John 423. You see it? Yes. 423. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. So right here, this right here says right here. But the hour comes and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father and Ruach in spirit and truth. And you haven't noticed that now the people don't notice some Christians, they worship him just in spirit. Not in truth. That's right. Right? Right. What is truth? What are you talking about truth? That's law. That's the law. That's law. But just want the spirit. They just want the spirit. But no, uh, no. Uh, uh, J.R. Kelly, when he was texting me, he told me, he said, a lot of these Christians want to worship the most high in the spirit, but they don't want the truth. He said they don't want no law. They don't want no law. But they want the spirit. Wow. Right? Yep. And I can show y'all something. It's also in the book of Isaiah 48, in the first first verse. I'm gonna get my other Bible. Is that first verse? Yeah. Isaiah 48. First verse. Because remember, what, what did I just say out of St. John 3, 28? He said that the, the, the time will come that the true worshipers will worship him in truth, yeah. worship the Father in truth and spirit. Right? Right. When you talk about truth, that's law. And you can precept that with uh, uh, Psalms 119, 142. We'll go there. Like, we'll go there after that. Forty-eight. Isaiah forty-eight. In that first verse, that first verse. You know, if you read and you get the understanding of that, because a lot of people used to quote the scripture out of uh, what's called it uh, mm -hmm. Romans ten, when it deals with calling. Yeah. They said that the callings are without repentance. Why is he saying without repentance? Because you can be not in the truth, but you're flowing in the gifts. What is the gifts? You're flowing in teaching, you're flowing in prophecy, you're still prophesying, but, but you're not in the truth. Wow. Wow. That's what the script, that's what the scripture you go into Romans 10. Yeah. I think it's Romans 10 yeah. will speak about the gifts and callings are without repentance. So these ministers. Right. 
They got it, but they're not in the, yeah. in the truth. Yeah, so you can be teaching, but you're not in the truth. Mm. That's what it's speaking about. That's what we get to understand. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. So it said that gifts in college without repentance, mm -hmm. that means you're still flowing the gift. Mm. You know, God may, you may, he may show you something, you may prophesy to somebody, boom, you prophesy to somebody, but you're not, you still, you're not in the truth. Wow. Because the gifts in college are without repentance. Yeah. And I, I get, break it down to y'all more. Okay. So you go right here in uh, Isaiah 41 and 1, see it? Uh, you mean 48? 48, 48, 1. Yes. 48, 1. Yeah, y'all see it? Yes. So forty-eight one. So I, I pray that uh, that uh, that you're getting what I'm saying. Right. That not going going over the heads. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right. Right here. So forty-eight, right? Yes. And verse one. So here it say, "Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah." which swear by the name of the Lord. Notice he talked about the, the, the house of Israel. Right. Notice the house of Israel is going to come out of the waters of Judah. Yeah. See? Because Judah is doing the teaching. Right. Right? Yes. So right here. So, and which swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel. Notice, by the God of Israel, mm -hmm. but not in truth nor in righteousness. Woo. Right? Yeah. Because in righteousness, that's, and I can show you, let's go to that and break it down so y'all can get this. Yes. Let's go to Deuteronomy 6.25. What is righteousness? What is righteousness what the, according to what the Bible says? The law. And we're going to give you scriptures to well, see what the scripture says, yeah, right? Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy 6.25. 6.25. Yeah, so what is righteousness according to what the Bible says? Right? Yeah. So Deuteronomy 6.25. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you teach, you got to be able to break it down to yeah. them. Yeah. Don't, just, don't give them philosophy. Give them scripture. Right? True. Mm. Yes. Because when you, you're not giving scripture, you're just talking, that's philosophy. But give them scripture. Give them scripture to back up. Because yeah. like if you ask somebody what is righteousness according to what the Bible says, they might give you their thoughts. Yeah. And all that. That's yeah. philosophy. Yeah, that's philosophy. But given the Bible, scripture, right? Yeah. yeah. So what is righteousness according to what the Bible is saying? Deuteronomy 6.25, and this is what it says. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. So the commandments yeah. is righteousness. Yes. Yeah. When you do the commandments. Right. Right? Yes. So right here it said, before the Lord our God, as he hath com commanded us. Right? Yeah. Somebody might say, that's just in the Old Testament. But right. I'll give you another scripture right here. <laughs> yeah. It's in, I believe it's in Luke. I think it's in Luke chapter 1. Yeah, Luke chapter 1 and verse 6. Luke this is another scripture you will write down. This is like righteousness, right? Yeah. He said Luke chapter 1 verse 6. Yeah. So by the most high, he's drawing the line in the sand is those who he's sealing the law. He's sealing the law in those, right? Yeah. So those who are being sealed with the law is a line between the sand right there. Those who are being righteous who are really going to serve the Lord, but those right there, and watch what's going to happen to them. They're going to perish. Yeah. So what's the word for perish? Die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gone. When Christ was saying, repent or perish, yeah. he was saying, repent or die. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what the word perish means. Die. Yeah. Die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, this right here, so if you notice, the prophets are saying the same thing, right? Yeah. The Old Testament prophets are saying the same thing. As you know, the new the new prophets in the Bible in the New Testament, they say the same thing. Yeah. As they were saying in the Old Testament, right? True. Sure. But if they wasn't saying the same thing, that means they give me a different gospel. Yeah. A different gospel. True. Sure. Right? Yeah. Because if you look at this this chapter in Luke chapter one and verse six, 
it pretty much stayed the same thing as Deuteronomy 6, 25. Yes, it does. It's saying the same thing? Same right? thing. Yeah, same thing. Right here. You see right here. It said in verse 6, and they were both righteous before God walking in the commandments. Did I did not tell you? The commandments yeah. is righteousness. Right. That's how you're going to be righteous. Yeah. Right? Yes. You got to keep them laws. Got to keep the laws. You know when you say, well, you don't want to keep the law, well, go ahead and be wicked. Yeah. Be wicked. <laughs> you know. Because that's what God, according to God's word, if you're not keeping his laws, you're wicked. Mm -mm -mm. That's, that, that's what I'm saying. You're wicked. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So, did you know this, not, just by not keeping a dietary law, you're wicked? Yeah, that's what the Lord said. Because you said, well, I'm going to eat me some shrimp today. I'm going to eat me some lobster today. Well, you're wicked. <laughs> Because God said we ain't supposed to eat that. That's right. right. We ain't supposed to eat that. You know, yep. but they said, man, that's not wicked. I'm just, eat, I'm just eating some shrimp. I'm just eating, I'm just eating some lobster. You, you can't eat that. You know, but God said you ain't supposed to eat that. Right. right. So you eating that, that's wickedness. That's wickedness. Yeah. So if you you learn God's laws, you'll learn what he say wickedness is. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let you so God told you not to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. And you go and put a tree up anyway. That's wicked. That's wickedness. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. But you can't do that. That's wicked. Sure is. You don't put them right up in your house. Yeah. <laughs> put, you put them up in your house. Mm. That, that's that tree, right? Yeah. That's that tree. Right? Yep. And so that's wickedness. It sure is. Can't do that, right? Jeremiah 10, he yep. tells you in there, he said, God said, learn not the way of the even. That's right. That means learn not the way of the nations. That's right? It. Right. The nations. Yeah. Right? Yes. Right. Jeremiah 10. Right? Yeah. And so anyone that's, and, and then you know what? I see pastors putting Christmas trees up in their pulpit. That's bad. And so <laughs> that house, that show you that is wicked. Yes. The churches are wicked. Yeah, the church is wicked. Wicked. God. Because if you're not keeping the commandments, you you already show me your wickedness. <laughs> yeah. You already show me wickedness. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. But I've been saying, Paul, you are you being rough, you being kind of hard. But I gotta tell you what the truth is. Right. Right? You got to. True. And so right here, yes. and so uh Luke 1, 1 and 6, he said right here, he said, they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. I thought nobody in the world was keeping the commandments. Right. Because they said nobody could keep the commandments. Yeah, so what they said here. Because I heard some people say that in Christianity. They said nobody could keep the commandments. That's wrong. And they said that's why Christ nailed it to the tree. Ah. But I don't see that in the scriptures. I sure don't. You know? I don't see in scripture either. He didn't nail the commandments no, sure to the tree. You know, I woke up and flipped on my TV one in the morning. That was wake the a couple weeks. And I saw Joseph Prince preaching and saying, he nailed the Ten Commandments oh. to the cross. Ah. I said, wow. Oh, Lord, wow. I said, that is a lie. That, that is, is a, a big lie. lie. Wow. That is a lie. It sure is. Yeah, and Joseph Prince, he's a Moabite, right? Yes. If you go into scripture, yes. God said the Moabites would not be able to enter into the country. That's what the Lord said. He said right? They ain't going to come in. He said they won't come in. Right. Right? Right. And so that's what judgment is starting, you see? Mm -hmm. That's where that coronavirus, right? That's right. Came from. Yeah. And you know it, it came from the restaurant. That's right. Notice it's died. Judgment on that food that they're eating, right? Yeah, that food they're eating. Because we ain't supposed to be eating all that mess. Yeah, and they eat that mess. Yeah. You know? Yep. And that's where it all spread out, right? Right. That's right. It's hitting everybody. Because if you go in the scripture, God said he's going to be terrible to more bad. More bad. Yeah, and they are the one that come. Yep. So you Praise see the, the judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, judgment. And now it's spreading all over the land. True. Sure it's spreading all over. True. Sure then you see people dying. Yep. Right? Yep. 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 And uh, people are getting nervous and saying, well, they don't know how long this is going to last. Right? That's right. That's just it. The Most High is in control. Yes, That's yes. all I can say. Yes. He's in control. Yeah, he's in control. Well, he want to bring it to an end, then he will end. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. Right? Yes. And so do you see how the same thing is saying the same thing? In the Bible, good. in Christianity, I see people say, oh, it's, 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 the, uh, the, it's not saying, they say it all, that's wrong, that's all wrong. But when you get into the truth, you see it. Yeah, yeah. See, when you're not in the truth, you're blinded. Right. And I found out what blinds a lot of our people, and it blew my mind, and I can take you the verse, it's in Thessalonians. I believe 2 Thessalonians, yeah. 2 Thessalonians? And chapter 2. 
and verse 10. Verse 10. Second Thessalonians, verse 10. Verse 10. <clears throat> second second yeah. Thessalonians, chapter yeah. verse. So it's uh, oh, verse. Second Thessalonians chapter two chapter and two. verse ten. 10. Okay. So this is the, this is why a lot of people are blinded, and like a lot of people are blinded. The deceitfulness of unrighteousness. Sure it is. That's that's what's blinding you. If you are blind. The deceitfulness of righteousness sure because is. you're not practicing righteousness. Right. And so if you don't practice righteousness, you're gonna be blind yeah. to the truth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so what is practicing righteousness? Doing the commandments. Yeah, doing the commandments. Doing the commandments, doing the feast days, doing the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath holy. Sure. Wearing your fringes. Mm -hmm. Men wearing their beards, That's keeping right. their beards. Yep. Mm -hmm. Staying away from defiled foods. Mm -hmm. And treating our neighbor right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we know who our neighbor, our people, our That's own right. people. It's our, it's our people. Our yeah. own people. Yes. Right? Yes. It's talking about the 12 So tribes. when you do that, you won't have the, the the deceitfulness of unrighteousness in you. That means you, well, a lot of our people are being deceived because they got the deceitfulness of unrighteousness mm -hmm. in them. Right. This verse right here. See? Yeah. And we showed you what righteousness is. Righteousness is keeping the commandments, right? Yes. yes. So Second Thessalonians chapter two. Chapter two. Verse ten. And you can go over this scripture when you get home. Mm-hmm. Because this right here, this is the reason why a lot of folks are blind. Just the Lord showed me this. And I was like, wow. That's why they blind. Yep. Yeah. Especially if you don't have a love for the truth, too. Right. If you don't have a love for the truth, you're not going to receive it. Right. They won't, they won't receive it. So, and I'll read on the 10. Read on all the way down to 12. So y'all can get this. Go ahead. You see it right here in 10? He said in 10. And said, with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them. He noticed he said, in them. Yeah, in them. See? It's inside them. Wow. Right? Mm hmm And so right here. And so, in all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, die, right? Mm -hmm. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So, see, you have to have the love for the truth to receive that. it, right? Yes. And so, and if you have the deceitfulness of unrighteousness in you, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to this scripture, it's in the, it's in the Sirach. Is this too long for y'all? No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Is Let's go to Sirach. Okay. I want that scripture that said that uh, do not delight after the, the things of the sinner. Uh, uh. Yeah, the scripture speaks, do not delight in the things of the, for the sinner. Do not delight. Or after their glory. After the glory of the sinner. That's, uh, in, that's in, uh, uh, in Apocrypha, that's 
Yeah, that's because you're asking it. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's coming. Envy not the glory of the sinner. Yeah. That's a uh, Sorak nine and eleven. Nine eleven. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I said. So that's that's that? 9, 11? Yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah, 9, 11, and 12, and 12. Okay. Y'all see it? Yeah. So it's a rock, 9, 11, that tablet said. At 9, 11, and 12. Okay. You might want to mark that verse. I did. Down. I also marked it in my Bible as well. Yeah. Y'all see it? Yes. So 11, I'm going to free that 11 and go to 12, you said? Yes. So he said, envy not the glory of a sinner, for you know not what shall be his end. So you know the glory, it deals with material things, like wealth or You're right. cars or money. Because if you look wow. up the word glory, sometimes it's speaking about material like things. Right? Wow. I so he said... Yeah, so he said right here, he said, envy not the glory of the sinner. So not envy their wealth or their, mm -hmm. or their house or right. car or whatever, right? True. Right. Yeah. And so you go into that. So envy not the glory of the sinner, for you know not what shall be his end. So you don't know their end, right? Right. Because some people are like, man, because I know how some of us may be like, man, you look at him, he got that nice car. Oh, he got that nice house. You know, the day before that, you, you, hear, you hear something happen to them. Yep. yep. Like, hey, what happened yep. to them? You know, because you didn't know they're in, right? Exactly. So right here, so the world of 12, you sell 12. You said, delight not in the thing that the wicked have pleasure in. What does the wicked have pleasure oh, in? Oh, everything. Folly. What yeah, is folly? Yeah. They're holidays. Yeah. That's just uh, foolishness. Yeah, foolishness. Foolish holidays. Yep. Right? Yep, they're folly. Folly. Right. Mm -hmm. So not to go into that, right? We can go into that even more, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. right here. He said, delight not in the thing that the wicked have pleasure in, but remember, they shall go unpunished unto their grave, right? Yeah. And so one of the things we can go into the Ecclesiastes, let's go to Ecclesiastes. Go to the regular one. The regular back? Okay. Yeah, the regular one, not the one in the in the Sirach, but the one in the uh, the regular Ecclesiastes. Okay. Right. Because right. right. you know the uh, the one that's in the Sirach is longer. It's longer than the regular uh, Ecclesiastes. Because the regular Ecclesiastes only go to 12. Right. Yeah, so chapter 10 and verse, verse 6, verse 6. Chapter 10, verse 6. Yeah, because even it, this show you that our people, we love stupid stuff, foolishness, because it said folly. Chapter 10, verse 6. What chapter? Uh, chapter chapter 10. 6. Oh, chapter, oh, chapter 10, 10, verse 10. 6. That's in your regular Ecclesiastes. Because the regular Cleese axis only go to chapter 10. Right. And uh, the, the, your other Cleese axis in Sirach goes all the way to 51. So you see it? Yeah. Chapter 10, verse 6. So we got to break this down to you so you so you can get it. Right? Yes. And so because uh, some of us, we are kind of new, right? And some of us are kind of old. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'll just play with that. <laughs> 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 yeah. So Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, right? So you see 6? Yes. So folly is set in great dignity. When it talk about great dignity, that's talking about high honor. High so, honor. Great dignity, that's high honor. So they have set these holidays in what's called it high honor, like mm -hmm. Christmas Columbus and what's called it Christmas and all these other stuff, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Mm -hmm. But if you go and study Father's Day and Mother's Day, that goes all into the Queen of Heaven. 
Oh, yeah, that is bad. The queen of heaven. That's bad. So when you celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day, you are honoring the queen of heaven. Oh, that's goddess, really bad. The goddess of heaven. That's bad. That's not good. So that's why we got to come out of that. You got to tell me, we got to get out of that, man. Uh, that's terrible. And so you go on to the 10, right? Yeah. And so folly is set in great dignity. That's talking about high honor, right? Mm -hmm. And they said the rich sit in low places. That's talking about Israel. Israel, because we was rich. Yeah, we now we're in low place because we're in captivity. Right. See? Mm -hmm. So this scripture right here. So right here, so it ties, it ties into it said that what's called it right here. And uh, Sirach 9 and verse 11, he said, Envy not the glory of the sinner, for you know not what shall be his end, right? Mm -hmm. Really, that goes into Esau, the nation of Esau. Sure is. Right? Yep. Because a lot of Israel, we envy them. We sure do. And we want what they got. You got that right. You do. Badly. We want what they got. Sure do. Badly. Right? Yep. We want their riches. We want all that. Yep. You know? Yep. yep. That's why they're going into, that's why you see a lot of black uh, rappers and yep. singers and stuff. Some of them are selling themselves out. Sure is. So they didn't get what you saw, guys. Yep. Sure is. You know? Yep. Because they're the one that's in control, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you, re you really start researching, you, you study that, you find out, oh my God, they can control everything. Yep. Every time. You know? Yep. Because the Jewish, they own it all. Sure do. The Jews, you know? yeah. The fake Jews. So that's what you scripture. So you see how that scripture comes in, you break it down, you show it, and you start showing people that, oh man, I didn't see it that way. I didn't see it that way. Right. But that's new understanding. God give you understanding. Did not God say if you keep his commandments, he said if you keep his commandments, he will give you wisdom right. and understanding. Yes, that is said. He'll give you understand. See, the Lord didn't start giving you his understanding until I start keeping his Sabbath. Right. Okay. Then, and once I start keeping his Sabbath, and I broke away, and I'm not eating the foods that God told me not to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm eating the food he told me to. Yes. Now he's giving me the wisdom. The wisdom and understanding is coming. It's okay. Coming. Yes. It's coming. Yes. And so he would do the same with you too. Yes. As, yes. as you start doing it. Yes. He would start pouring his wisdom and understanding. It's going to come like a flood. Yes. And stuff. Because the Lord showed me a vision that, like the last couple weeks. Yeah. He showed me this 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 house. He showed me the flood waters were coming in. Okay. That's the word. Yes. And he showed me that how high we was getting up. That he said he showed that the waters were rising. So that means our understanding is, is rising. Good. In the truth. Good. Good. Thank you. Yeah. You know? Lord. Thank you. Yes. Our understanding. So we're getting the right understanding. Right. See, when you're in Christianity, you don't have the right no, understanding. No, I ain't none of that. Did you know that? Yeah. Now God had to pull you out of Christianity and give you your heritage back. Right. You know, I've seen Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin, he had, he, and I was looking at, he had an album named, I Lost My Religion. He don't know how true that is. Yeah. You did lose your religion, but it's not Christianity. Right. It is what's called it your heritage. Yeah, our laws. Your yes. laws. Yes. Sure it is. So it's not Christianity. Right. Christianity is not what you lost. Yeah. <laughs> In sure fact, they forced it on you. They sure did. You know. Yes, did. So I want. I probably have to close it out because some of y'all might be tired. No, uh -huh. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> yeah. So y'all ready? Yeah, get some more. All right. Yes. So how long has it been now? How many? How long has it been? Oh, well, well, we've been interrupting, remember? So that's. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to go to that chapter. Let's go to that chapter. Yeah, you said you're going to take us to. Um, what I said I was going to take you to. You're going to take us to somewhere. Oh yeah, Psalms. Psalm yeah. one uh, one nineteen to one forty two. Yeah, Psalms one yeah. One nineteen and forty two. Yeah. See when you when people uh get hungry for it, oh yeah. They want more. I want more. more. I want more. I want more, 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 more. But people that's like, oh I'm bored, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. Nothing at home. You're right. There's nothing there. Yeah. Me too. There's nothing at home. 
So Psalms 119, 142. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yes. So that ties in with every time we see truth. And so what people don't know is that the Most High got many names for his laws. Sure does. So when you start seeing those different names that he calls it, because mm -hmm. he, he call it paths, he call it his precepts, mm -hmm. his ways, what's called it the light, the truth, the lamp, the righteousness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Then you'll be able to precept these and know that it's the laws he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because when you say truth, that's talking about law, right? Yes. Because you're going to this right here, right here. Yes. Because before the Bible was called the Bible, it was called the book of the law. Sure and was. you can go to uh, Je uh, Joshua 1, 1, I think it's 1, uh, 26 or something. But it's in there, and he says that the law, the law should not depart from thy mouth. Sure did, the sir. book of the law. Yeah, the book of the law. So why they call it the Bible now? Because it's a collection of books. Yes. It's a collection that's like a library. Yes, it is. But before it was called the Bible, it was called the book, the book of, of the, the law. law. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So you see it? Mm -hmm. So uh, Psalms 119 and 142, right? Yes. All right, you see it? He yeah. said, thy righteousness is in everlasting righteousness, and thy law is true. Yeah, see? Yeah, the law is true. Yeah. So righteousness is another word for his law, right? Mm -hmm. Sure is. And so even the, uh, what you call it, uh, his paths, yeah. his ways. Yep. You know? Yes. He even called it the precept. Yep. His yep. precepts. Yep. He even called it my counsels. Yep. My counsels. Because yep. if you're going to work, I said that Israel hate his counsels. Yeah, and y'all forgot here. Thy judgment. Yep, thy yep. judgments. He yep. called it judgments. Yep. You know? Precepts. So when you start learning the judgment of the most high. Yep. Because notice this, because uh, remember when I start breaking down to y'all about what wickedness is, right? Yeah. There's a scripture that's tell you wicked men don't know judgment. And we can go to that in Proverbs. Proverbs. Yes, yeah, Proverbs 28 and verse 5. Proverbs 28, verse 5. So if you in sin, just like you in the deceitfulness of, of unrighteousness, you don't understand judgment. Right? Right. Because right. if you get into this truth, then you understand the judgments of God, right? Uh -huh. You understand these plagues. You understand that nations are going into captivity. Yeah. Because that's also God's judgment that they will go, those who lead in the captivity should go into captivity, right? Yeah. That means He's recompensing it back. Right. That was done to us. True. That's what it's all about. Yes. Because God is a God of recompense. Yes, He is. What's recompense? I mean, you're gonna bring it back. You're gonna bring it back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's about the Lord. He don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is right here in 28 and 5 in Proverbs. This tell you that evil men, evil men don't understand judgment. Mm -hmm. That means also wicked women don't know, understand judgment, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So if you're wicked, I see why you don't have understanding. Right. Because you're wicked. <laughs> <laughs> that, word, that word wicked is something, wow. isn't it? Wicked. Yeah. So right here, you see, in verse 5, you yeah. say, Evil men understand not judgment, see? Yeah. But they that seek the Lord understand all things, see? Yes. And so, I don't understand some of these Christians that say, Well, uh, uh, it's not for you to know everything. <laughs> uh, the Lord's not going to show you everything. Wow. But that's, that, what did the scripture just tell me? He said, those that seek the Lord understand all things. That mean many. That mean all stuff. That don't mean how. See? But they have been taught this way, though. Because in church, they teach you got to pray, 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 right? You yeah. seek the Lord. Yeah, but they haven't learned this way now. Right. You got to seek him in his laws. Yeah. When you seek the most high in his laws, mm -hmm. then you're going to know all things. Right. Did not King David... Yep. He said, one of the women said to King David, he said, you're just like an angel. You know all things. Yep. 
Why did David do all things? Because he was keeping the Most High's law. Yes, he was. He was keeping the law. You see? Yeah. Yeah, he fell into sin. Yeah. He but did. he repented. Right. He repented. He quick. did repent. Yeah. Right? Yes, he did. Sure did. But that's why he knew all things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because if you go to Christians, right? Ask them some things about the Bible.